the end of the year, the last day of 2017, has seen the losses to our security forces in Jammu and Kashmir spike. One officer has died in Pakistani firing on the line of control and five CRPF officers have lost their lives as militants stormed their camp in Purwama. At least two to three heavily armed terrorists lobbed hand grenades and fired indiscriminately, managing to breach the perimeter of the camp. Almost 20 hours later, the operation to flush out the militants is still underway. Nazir Masoodi joins us now. He's following the story. Nazir, how f so far, two militants have been killed. What's the latest in this operation? Well, Sarah, this operation is underway because there's possibility of more, one more militant. Not just possibility, but security force believe one more is still holding on because just a while back, they was firing again in the fourth floor of that building, which has more than 50 rooms. And that has been a huge challenge for the security forces to flush out these militants for last more than 20 hours. They are engaged in this major gun battle. After the militants stormed this CRPF camp, they managed to breach the perimeter of the camp and stormed the building. Five CRPF men have been killed. One died, one inspector, Kuldipre, died because of heart attack he was trapped inside a building which was stormed by militants and four others were killed three of them in a close battle with the attackers what is more disturbing than the attack itself that the two of the two militants who have been killed have been identified and they're local militants and they belong to pulwama area this after a long long time when local militants have been part of such a dying mission by Jeshi Muhammad, which is very disturbing. What is more disturbing, one of the militants, just 16-year-old Fardeen Ahmed, who is from Tral, was the son of a Jammu and Kashmir policeman who had joined militancy just a few months back, and he was part of this Fidayan attack on the CRPF installation, which is the second major attack since October 4 attack on BSF installation right next to Srinagar Airport. And this attack was carried out days after top Jash commander Noura Trali was killed by the security force in the same area. So major attack on CRPF installation and the operation is still underway after the killing of two militants and five CRPF men also lost their lives.